What is up, rockers? Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms content here. I'm Shinchi42. So today we have another battle testing. We will have Ramsey's primary. This time we're gonna be testing what is the best pairing for Ramsey's. Now I have um, Guan Yu and Alexander as the test subject in here. So what we got in the first combination is going to be Ramsey's and who is it? Tomiris. So Ramsey's and Tomiris, as you can see, we got 13 stacks and poisons there wow it's doing quite well this is a combination that i have used multiple times what do you guys think so far 13 stack of the poison was the highest one that we have seen it is doing quite well it is doing quite well going against the infantry gang and 12 stacks of poison all right the damage is quite nice but, um, as you can see, Guan Yu is getting defeated right away, which is completely acceptable because this is archers versus infantry. So, we should be leading as an archer, you know, in the battlefield. We should be the one winning. So, if you start seeing your archers losing, it's probably not a good pairing in there. So, um, Ramses and Tomiris did a good job in here. Alright, so next is... Well, okay, well, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. What am I doing? <laughs> Are we going to be checking the reports or... Uh, we're, 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 we're. Okay, next march. I guess we're just preparing for the next march in here. There we go. 50k troops. We're using T4 units in here. And I believe we are going to be checking the report quite soon here. There we go. Um, 7k severely wounded, 7.5, and 5k severely wounded on the other side. Here's the stats. You guys can check it out. Okay, so next battle. Who is it going to be? It's going to be Ramses and El Cid. Wow. Ooh. What do you guys think? I'm sure a lot of people would say it's it's probably going to lose, right? Ramses and El Cid. Oh, man. Let's check it out. All right. Elsid is a wonderful commander. Ability to disable the commander. So, something that you can do is definitely pay attention to the rage bar of the commander Guan Yu in here. Right? You can see some stalling in there for a few seconds there. Um, wow. Massive damage still from the archers. Doing quite well. Doing quite well. I believe Guan Yu is actually casting the skill first than Ramsey's in here. But that's probably because of Guan Yu's, uh, you know, skills path on the talent tree. But it seems that Ramsey's is still prevailing in here with El Cid. So Ramsey's and El Cid, if hypothetically you don't have all the commanders and you have invested on in El Cid and you have Ramsey's, then this is a good video for you to check out so if you guys like a battle testing video smash that thumbs up let me know by clicking that like if you guys are enjoying the battle testing videos that we are doing and also you can comment on the comment section below or comment yeah comment below if you guys are interested in seeing other combinations in the future we're going to be doing some testings in here and there all right so relatively the same as the previous uh battle 7k actually this one did better 7.1k but also we have to think about some of the situational stuff in here as well right um right uh let's see guan yu alexander now this time oh this time it's else it is a primary and i think the secondary is is ysg okay so just by looking at the severely wounded since we were going through a little bit quicker, the Ramses El Cid did, did much better with the Ramses Tomiris. But something that you guys need to keep in mind that with Tomiris is that if in an actual war, you're actually going to be helping out your other teammates because of that poison stack. With that poison stack, the opponent that you are targeting with, you know, that is receiving the poison stack will receive more skill damage. So in a group war, there's that benefit right you can eliminate the the uh, enemies a lot faster with your allies in the battlefield now el cid and ysg oh my goodness oh my goodness it's crushing guan yu 
It's crushing Guan Yu. Wow. This 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 combination is an old old combination, right? You can either do L Cid YSG or YSG L Cid, but this is an old commander defeating newer commander. Wow. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, uh, this closer in here, we are using the talent tree for Guan Yu that has some mobility as well. So in the real war situation, you're going to have some mobility in your talent pad. I mean, if you don't want that, then you can, you know, negate the mobility part, but you're going to be really slow in the battlefield. So we just tried to simplify or make it as realistic as we can with a talent tree as well. So with that being said, with that mobility, you're really losing all the capability to um, become really much of this fighter, stronger fighter in the battlefield because you're having that moving speed talent. So it's a waste, but it's not really a waste because in the battlefield, you want to be able to move in and out. All right, so this time it is going to be El Cid and who's next? Wait, um, I don't remember. Okay, so it's Artemisia. Artemisia and El Cid. Oh, man. Well, who do you guys think is going to win here? And, uh, yeah. Imagine this. We have the talent tree with the moving speed, right? For Guan Yu. And, wow. El Cid and Artemisia. It, it doesn't look like it's doing quite well. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's doing well. Yeesh. Yeesh. YSG did the best in there. Um, another thing that you need to keep in mind by using YSG, you have that circular AoE hitting everybody on the area in a real war. Oh boy. In my opinion, I think if you're going to be using Artemisia, it has to be like a primary commander. Focus on that defensive tree. But with this one, it's, it's not doing well. Now... We are going to be looking at the report. This is pre-update testing. So when you look at the report today, you're not going to see the slightly wounded with the updated version of Artemisia. It is going to be more into the severely wounded. But you can negate what you see from the battle report. You just use it as a reference. But what you can do is actually look into who is going, going to win because it's probably still going to be the same result regardless if it was severely or slightly wounded as a result. All right, there we go. It was a very close, very neck and neck. I feel like if it was Artemisia as a primary commander, it would have been a different result in here. All right, here we go. What is the next one that we're gonna be seeing? I think the next one is is uh, Ramses and uh, and the YSG. I think. All right, here we go. All right, let's see. So it is. Ramses and YSG. Let's see how this is going to perform compared to the all of our battle uh, battle tested you know combinations and pairing in here. What is the best pair for Ramses as the primary commander? Now um, we're not able to do the Ramses and Edward, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make a specific video for that. So if you are looking to watch that or see that video, make sure that you're subscribed. And oh my God! Ramses, what a beast with YSG. Holy moly. Beast mode. Crazy. Insane. Dope. Murder. Guan Yu getting wreck. Oh my god. Ramses and YSG. Annihilated Guan Yu. Wow. Annihilation. Total destruction. Now, I'm really curious how it's going to perform if it was, you know, we had Edward there in the secondary as well, just for curiosity. And then we're going to be testing Edward primary. Basically, we're going to test it out. Edward primary, Ramsey's primary with Edward secondary. We're going to do things just to see things, how things are going to be uh, performing in the battlefield. We got to do these tests so we can understand. Make sure if you guys like these videos, share it to your friends. So, um, you know, we can educate more of the players here in Rise of Kingdoms. Share it to your Discord. And if you're looking to join my Discord, it's on the description below. Now, like I said, if you're enjoying the content, smash that thumbs up. Share the videos for us. Help the channel out as well as we create these contents to share to you guys. And you guys can enjoy having to dominate in the Rise of Kingdoms. And this is... Wow. 
Ramses and YSG so far is the best combination we have seen yet in this video. Now this time it is a Ramses and Artemisia. Man, how is this going to perform? It's not as good as what we have seen with Ramses and um, and YSG. So yeah. I think with Artemisia, you got to use her as the primary commander working on that defensive pat. And I think Artemisia really shines on the, uh, what is this thing called? On the uh, defending of structures more than an open field battle. Ah, But it still performed well. Ramses and Artemisia is still knocking out the infantry, which what we should be expecting from an archer commander. Wonderful. Now, the problem with the YSG, though, if that gets swarmed, it'll be probably get knocked out quicker. But the best thing with YSG, well, sorry, but the best thing with Ramses is that Ramses pairing up with YSG has the capability to become tanky, right? That's what Ramses bring in YSG's ultimate damages. Anyway, Rockers, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you again next time.